Hi, I'm Tom Lunderborg. I'm the Vice President of Product Development at LifeShots. I want to talk to you today about grocery shopping. Yes, that exciting time when we're going to buy all our food for the week. Now, as mundane as it might seem, many of us really don't have the grocery store down. We are buying the wrong foods that are sabotaging our fitness plan and our fitness goals. So I just want to walk with you for a little bit mentally through the grocery store and paint a picture of the safe zones and the zones to avoid in each store that you go to. Now I know yours might be a little different than mine, but nationwide they're all laid out about the same. So now as we walk into the store, imagine the outside perimeter aisles. That's where they contain all of the whole fresh foods. So think of going to one of the sides of the outside aisles that has all of the produce, the fresh fruits that are all on display. And as you work past that perimeter, you come into a meat case or a meat counter where it's not the Oscar Mayer stuff, it's not the prepackaged lunch meats. You're coming into the fresh meats where you'll see steaks and chicken and pork and all of those fresh meats in a freezer or in the uh, meat case. Now as you pass those, you'll be coming up into usually a milk case or a dairy case and then moving through that, you'll move on to the uh, breads and grains and, and the bakery part of the store. Now the outside perimeter is where you want to do 90% of your shopping. This is where you want to fill 90% of your shopping cart from so that you're getting whole, nutrient-dense, healthy food. Now the interior aisles, think about those aisles where the cereals are and the prepackaged foods and soups and the freezer section that has all the frozen pizzas and the TV dinners. Those are the aisles that we want to spend the least amount of time in. Sometimes you don't even want to go down those at all. But there is an aisle that you want to go down on those interior, and that's the spices. Because we still want flavorful, fun, tasty food, which we can make fabulous dishes with our recipes by using fresh whole foods, mixing in some of these spices. So now that we have an understanding of where we want to do most of the shopping, I also want to talk about one other myth, and that's that buying fresh food, whole foods, are way too expensive that it's so much easier and cheaper to just buy prepackaged food. Now this is a common myth, and this is part of the pitfall, is that people are over-purchasing on these fresh foods and not purchasing based on how much they're gonna consume over the next five to seven days. Because remember, these are perishable. So as you buy them, you have to consume them fairly rapidly compared to a prepackaged food. So when we're back in that produce aisle, and you're buying the fruits and vegetables for that week, make sure you're consciously understanding how much you really need. Because more often than not, we over-purchase here, and then we end up having to throw that food away, and we're really just throwing money away. And you have to use that same idea as we move into the meat case, and we move on over to the bakery. We want to purchase only what we're going to consume for that week. And as you reach checkout, you're going to find that really you're not spending any more than you did on those frozen prepared meals or the uh, prepackaged soups. Now when you get home, another common myth is I don't have all this time to be in the kitchen. I'm gonna have to spend an hour or more preparing these foods. That's not the case at all. You can prepare a delicious whole meal within the same amount of time it took you to warm up that can of soup or nuke that TV dinner in the microwave. 